Number three says, find the indicated values for f of x equals one half x. Well, we said it was kind of like y equals one half x, so I'm going to say f of x equals one half x. So basically, I want to substitute all these values in for x. I'm going to do it one time for zero, one time for 14, and one time for negative 14. So I'm going to write one half. And in place of x, I'm going to make that substitution. So here, I get 0. So multiply that out, and I'm just going to get 0. So f of 0 equals 0. For the next one, I have 1 half. And this time, in place of x, I'm supposed to put 14. And so if you make 14 a fraction by putting it over 1 and you multiply straight across, you're going to get 14 divided by 2, which is going to be... 7. And then our part C, it says f of x equals 1 half x, but in place of x, this time I'm going to substitute a negative 14 in, and if we put it over 1 and multiply straight across, we're going to get negative 14 over 2, which simplifies to negative 7. Number 4 says graph f of x equals 2x plus 6. So we're going to do some graphing with function notation, but that shouldn't be a big concern because remember we said graphing, um, I mean f of x also is similar to saying y equals 2x plus 6. And from this we remember that 2 is our slope and our y-intercept is the ordered pair 0, 6. Okay, that's from previous information. And now if I take this 2, my slope, and write it as a fraction, I simply do rise over run. Now we start at our y-intercept, so start at your point 0, 6, so 1, 2, 4, 5, 0, 6, and put your dot. Okay, that's your starting point. I've done this. And now our slope is rise, so up to right 1. So from there go up to right 1, up to right 1, and you really only need two points to graph this, and then let me grab a, and draw a straight line through them, so that's graphing using that, and there's a couple of different ways to graph, but that's graph using slope intercept, and our last thing that we're going to talk about, when we said, um, before we determined if a a relation was a function by looking at its x values. Now we're going to do it by vertical line test, which is most people's favorite because it's very basic. It says if a vertical line passes through two or more points on the graph, it does not define a function. So basically, if I take vertical lines and I go through here, if it touches more than one point, it is not a function. So I'm going to say, no, this is not a function. If I do a vertical line here, it only touches one time. So if I tried it at different places, because I have to test it throughout, this one's only going to touch one time. So I would say, yes, this passes the test. It is a function. C, if I draw a vertical line, automatically we can see that this one fails and is not a function. As well in D, this graph, whenever I put a vertical line right there, this fails because it touches more than one. E. What this is is kind of like a piecewise function. And an open circle means it's not included. A closed circle means it is included. So if I do a, a vertical line right here, it really only counts this one point because that open circle means it's not counted. So this is still a function. However, on F, it's too closed. Since this is closed and this is closed, this one fails and is not a function.